for everybody that was competing in the Shamrock Shuffle today, which means Chicago is officially kicking off its running season today with the annual Bank of America Shamrock Shuffle. Thousands of runners and walkers lined up early this morning. They're competing in either the 8K run or a two-mile walk. NBC 5's Lexi Suter has a recap for us. Three, two, one. And with the pop of the gun, Chicago's 2024 running season is officially underway. The city of Chicago has been amazing in the planning of this, and it just sets the tone for the rest of the season, rest of the spring and summer. Every year, the running season starts with the Bank of America Shamrock Shuffle, a fun and festive tradition for both runners and walkers. This year marks the 43rd year of the tradition, and there was no shortage of participants. An estimated 28,000 people showed up. We have over 70 elite teams that have come here, so some great, uh, great competition up front. We have individuals that are training for the Boston Marathon. We have some individuals that may be their first time running this year. So it's just everybody getting together, reuniting in this beautiful uh, Grant Park. Grant Park is where so many of Chicago's events start and end, including the Bank of America Chicago Marathon. This year, it's set for October 13th. This is the beginning of the Bank of America Chicago Distance Series. So it starts with this fun run 8K. Then we've got the 13.1 in June. It all culminates back here with the Bank of America Chicago Marathon in October. This year's Shamrock Shuffle women's winner is Amy Davis Green. She says she loves running in Chicago so much she'll be back for the marathon this fall. It's really fun. I feel like I love the Chicago race circuit um, and Shamrock is currently the only Chicago race I've done, but I'll do the Chicago Marathon in the fall. And today's win was her first of her professional running career. I'm just so thankful for this. I love Chicago. It was great weather and so fun to do. Great weather combined with a fairly flat course made this race memorable for men's winner Nathan Martin. I would say it's pretty flat. Um, I've been on some pretty brutal hills. Um, and so overall, this was just good to get our race and didn't feel like it was too challenging overall. Reporting from Grant Park, Lexi Suter, NBC5 News.